anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Our lesson is about measures of position decile of group data. What is measures of position? This is a technique that divides a set of data into equal groups. Last time we discussed quartiles of group data. Right now we will discuss deciles of group data. What is deciles? Deciles are the score points which divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So the starting percent, that is 0%. So plus 10, that is 10% or decile sub 1. Plus 10%, that is 20%, that is decile sub 2. Another is 30%, that is decel sub 3, plus 10, that is 40%, that is decel sub 4. Next is decel sub 5, that is 50%, decel sub 6, that is 60%, decel sub 7, that is 70%, decel sub 8, that is 80%, decel sub 9, that is 90%, and then 100%. What could be the formula for the D sub K? D sub K, it is equal to LB, LB that is lower boundary of the D sub K class plus the quantity K, K that is N quartile times N, N that is the total frequency all over 10 because this is the decils of group data minus CFL or that is the cumulative frequency of the class before the D sub K class all over F sub DK, so that is frequency of the D sub K class, times I, that is the interval or the size of the D sub K class. But before we identify the D sub K, we need to distinguish the D sub K class, the formula K times N all over 10. So as you can see, this is K times N all over 10. So let us apply the formula in example number one. The table shown below is the English 10 scores of 50 students. So this is the class interval from 46 to 50. This is the frequency 4. 41 to 45, the frequency is 8. 36 to 40, the frequency is 11. 31 to 35, the frequency is 9. 26 to 30, the frequency is 12. 21 to 25, the frequency is 6. The class interval, that is equal to 5. If we count, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So the class interval, that is equal to 5. How about the frequency? The frequency, if we add all, so 4 plus 8 plus 11 plus 9 plus 12 plus 6, the answer is equal to 50. So n, that is equal to 50. So right now, we can calculate now the value of D sub 4, D sub 7, and D sub 9. Let us complete the table for the lower class boundaries. So the solution, this one, 46 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 45.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, that is 40.5. 36 minus 0 0.5, that is 35.5. 31 minus 0 0.5, that is 30.5. 26 minus 0 0.5, that is 25.5. 21 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 20.5. So next, we need to solve the less than the cumulative frequency. So we start from the bottom. So that is 6. So copy 6. Afterwards, 6 plus 12. So this one, 12. 6 plus 12. The answer is equal to 18. 18 plus 9, 
the answer is equal to 27. 27 plus 11, the answer is equal to 38. 38 plus 8, that is equal to 46. 46 plus 4, that is equal to 50. So, right now, let us calculate the D sub 4. But before that, we need to identify the D sub 4 class. The formula, D sub K class, it is equal to K times N all over 10. So, let us replace the value of K by 4. So, D sub 4 class, it is equal to 4 times the total frequency. So, times 50 all over 10. So, afterwards, let us solve. 4 times 50, that is equal to 200, divided by 10, that is equal to 20. So it means the D sub 4 class, that is equal to 28. So it means 20 is between 8 and then 27. So the D sub 4 class, the interval is from 31 to 35. So we have the D sub 4 class now, that is the 28, so this one. So, let us solve now for the D sub 4. The formula, D sub K, it is equal to LD plus the quantity K times N all over 10 minus less than the cumulative frequency all over the frequency of the D sub K class times the interval. So, let us replace the value of K by 4. So, D sub 4, it is equal to the lower boundaries, the lower boundaries of the D sub 4 class that is 30.5. So, let us copy plus the quantity, the value of K that is 4. The total frequency is this one, 50, copy 10. Minus the less than the cumulative frequency of the before the D sub 4 class. So that is equal to 18. So 18. So minus 18 all over the frequency of the D sub 4 class. So this is the frequency 9. So over 9. And then the interval, let us copy, that is equal to 5. So let us solve first the 4 times 50 over 10. 4 times 50 is 200 divided by 10, that is equal to 20. As you can see, this 20 is the same with the D sub 4 class, that is the 20th. So 20. Afterwards, let us solve 20 minus 18, that is equal to 2. And then the rest, copy 30.5, copy the denominator 9, copy 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so 30.5 times 10 over 9. And then 10 divided by 9, the answer is equal to 1.11. So let us add 30.5 plus 1.11, that is equal to the D sub 4 equals 31.61. So 31.61, as you can see, is between the interval 31 to 35, that is the D sub 4 class. How about example number 2? Let us calculate the value of D sub 7. But before that, let us identify the D sub K class. The formula, it is equal to K times N all over 10. So let us replace the value of K by 7. So D sub 7 class, it is equal to 7 times the total frequency 50 all over 10. 7 times 50 is 350 divided by 10, that is equal to 35. So it means 35 is between 27 and 38. So pipiliin natin yung mas mataas. So the D sub 7 class is between the interval 36 to 40. So let us solve now for the D sub 7. The formula, D sub K, it is equal to LD plus the quantity K times N all over 10 minus the less than the cumulative frequency all over the frequency of the D sub K times the interval. The value for K that is 7, so D sub 7 is equal to lower boundaries of the D sub K class that is the 35.5. So let us copy. Plus the quantity K that is 7. The total frequency, that is equal to 50, all over 10. So, how about the less than the cumulative frequency? So, pipiliin natin, if this is the D sub K class, yung nasa ilalim nun, because this is the less than the cumulative frequency. So, that is 27. So, minus 27 all over the frequency of the D sub 7 class, that is equal to 11. So, times the interval, let us find the interval, that is equal to 5. 
So right now, let us solve first uh, 7 times 50 all over 10. 7 times 50 is 350 divided by 10. The answer is equal to 35. And then the rest, copy 35.5, copy negative 27, copy the denominator 11, copy 5. So let us solve 35 minus 27. The answer is equal to 8. Copy 35.5, copy the denominator 11, copy 5. So, 8 times 5 is equal to 40 over 11 and then copy 35.5. 40 divided by 11, the answer is equal to 3.64. So, let us add 35.5 plus 3.64. So, the D sub 7, it is equal to 39.14. So, 39.14, as you can see, is between the interval of the D sub 7 class that is 36 to 40. In example number 3, same table, but we need to identify the D sub 9. So the formula D sub K class, it is equal to K times N all over 10. So let us replace the value of K by 9. So D sub 9 class, it is equal to K times the total frequency that is equal to 50 all over 10. 9 times 50 is 450 divided by 10. The answer is equal to 45. It means 45 is between 38 and 46. So the D sub 9 class is within the interval from 41 to 45. So let us continue to solve for the D sub 9. So the formula D sub K, it is equal to LV plus the quantity K times N all over 10 minus the less than the cumulative frequency all over the frequency of D sub K times the interval. The value of K that is 9, it is equal to the lower boundaries of the D sub 9 class that is 40.5. So let us copy times the quantity K that is equal to 9 times the total frequency that is equal to 50 all over 10 minus the less than the cumulative frequency. So if this is D sub 9 class, we will copy that is 38. So minus 38 all over the frequency of the D sub 9 class that is equal to 8. So over 8 and then the interval that is equal to 5. So let us first solve that 9 times 50 is 450 divided by 10. The answer is equal to 45. And then the rest, copy. So let us solve 45 minus 38. The answer is equal to 7. So copy 40.5 plus copy the denominator 8, copy 5. Next, 7 times 5, the answer is equal to 35 over 8, copy 40.5. D sub 9 is equal to 40.5 plus 35 divided by 8. The answer is 4.38. So let us add. So D sub 9, it is equal to 44.88. So as you can see, 44.88, that is the between the interval of the D sub 9 class from 41 to 45. In example number four, Jonah recorded the number of milk tea shops that can cater a certain number of customers. How many customers could you cater if you are the D sub 2 and D sub 9 of the distribution? So we have the number of customers, the interval from 41 to 50, we have 3 frequency, 31 to 40, that is 5 frequency, 21 to 30, that is 10 customers, 11 to 20 interval, we have 8 customers, 1 to 10 interval, that is 5 customers. So the interval, as you can see, that is equal to 10. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that is 10. Or if you try 50 minus 41, that is 9 plus 1, so the interval, that is equal also to 10. So to get the frequency, let us add 3 plus 5 plus 10, plus 8, plus 5, the answer is equal to 31. So let us complete the table for the lower class boundaries. So 41 minus 0 0.5, that is 40.5. 31 minus 0 0.5, that is 30.5. 
21 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 20.5. 11 minus 0 0.5, the answer is equal to 10.5. 1 minus 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5. Next, let us identify the less than the cumulative frequency. So we will start from the bottom, so the lowest interval, so 5. So copy 5, and then 5 plus 8, that is equal to 13. 13 plus 10, the answer is equal to 23. 23 plus 5, that is equal to 28. 28 plus 3, the answer is equal to 31. So let us compute for the d sub 2. So the formula, d sub k class, it is equal to k times n all over 10. The value for k, that is equal to 2. So d sub 2 class, it is equal to the value of k, that is equal to 2. The total frequency, that is 31. So let us copy over 10. So 2 times 31 is 62 divided by 10. The answer is 6.2. So 6.2, as you can see, is between 5 and and 13. So we will choose 13. So the D sub 2 class is between the interval 11 to 20. So let us continue to solve for the D sub 2. D sub k it is equal to LB plus the quantity k times n all over 10 minus CF sub L all over F sub DK times the interval. So if this is the D sub 2 class, so D sub 2 the lower class boundaries, that is equal to 10.5, plus the quantity k, that is equal to 2, the total frequency, that is 31 over 10. So if this is the d sub 2 class, and this is the less than the cumulative frequency of the d sub 2 class, that is 13, below that, we will choose, that is 5. So minus 5 all over the frequency of the d sub 2 class, that is equal to 8. So over 8, times the interval, so that is equal to 10. So first, let us solve 2 times 31 divided by 10. So 2 times 31 is 62 divided by 10, that is 6.2. And then the rest, copy. 6.2 minus 5, the answer is equal to 1.2. Copy 10.5, copy the denominator 8, copy the interval 10. So afterwards, let us solve 1.2 times 10, the answer is equal to 12. Copy 10.5, copy the denominator 8. So, d sub 2, it is equal to 10.5, 12 divided by 8 in a decimal point, that is 1.5. So, 10.5 plus 1.5, the answer is equal to 12. So, d sub 2, that is equal to 12. How about the d sub 9? First, we need to identify the d sub k class, the formula k times n all over 10. The value for k, that is equal to 9. So d sub 9 class, it is equal to 9 times the value of n, the total frequency, that is 31 over 10. So 9 times 31 is 279 divided by 10, that is 27.9. So it means 27.9 is between 23 and 28. So we will choose the highest, that is 28. So it means the d sub 9 class is between the interval 31 to 40. So let us continue to solve for the d sub 9. d sub k, it is equal to LB plus the quantity k times n all over 10 minus the less than the cumulative frequency all over the frequency of the d sub k times the interval. So the value of k is 9. So d sub 9 is equal to the lower class boundaries of the d sub 9, that is 30.5, plus the value of k, that is 9. The total frequency, that is equal to 31 over 10. So less than the cumulative frequency, if this is the less than the cumulative frequency, if this is the d sub 9 class, we will choose 23. So minus 23 over the frequency of the d sub k class. So this is the frequency and the frequency of the d sub k class that is equal to 5 times the interval. So that is equal to 10. So let us solve 9 times 31 divided by 10. That is equal to 27.9. So copy 30.5, copy the denominator 5, copy negative 23, and then copy 10. So 27.9 minus 23, that answer is equal to 4.9. First, we need to copy 
copy the denominator 5, copy the interval 10. So we will multiply 4.9 by the interval 10. So 4.9 times 10, the answer is equal to 49. So copy 30.5, copy the denominator 5. So let us solve now. 30.5, 49 divided by 5, the answer is 9.8. So let us add 30.5 plus 9.8, that is equal to 40.3. So the d sub 9, it is equal to 40.3. Instruction, solve the problem using decile formula. Provide your answers in the comment section.